So let me get this straight, Doc. You're telling me that thing gives proof to all these reports of cryptids being real? It's unclear. However, West Virginia has always been a hot spot for stories of Mothman, Sheep Squatch, hell, even the Flatwoods Monster long before the Great War. It's unclear, whatever this is, it's not man-made. Are you saying whatever made this also created the cryptids? What about the sky? This is no normal rad storm. I don't know, Commander, but what I do know is that we need more information. We need to catch a cryptid. Huh, <laughs> sure. With all the other monstrosities running around the wasteland, I'll just put out an APB to responders for Mothman and little green aliens. <laughs> They'll really question my whiskey intake then. Doc, in all seriousness, we simply don't have the resources to chase down childhood nightmares. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. If this is what I think it is. Sir, I couldn't help but over here. After all, I am Recon. What if we reach out to our Appalachian volunteers? Maybe even call on Arson? Many eyes make for light work. Warden, good afternoon. Not sure what we may be up against, but we sure could use the support of you and Arson. I'll be sending you some information. Volunteers, we need your eyes and ears in Appalachia. While we can't yet provide all details, we believe we may have uncovered signs of possible visitation by extraterrestrial life forms. Many of you have reported to us on numerous occasions having seen or been in contact with cryptids, the supposed creatures of legend found here in Appalachia. From the Mothman, Grafton Monster to Snallygasters, we're particularly interested in the Flatwoods Monster. We need you all to safely gather intel on any cryptids you see location, habits, strange actions. Tell us your uncanny tale. We need to gather intel on these creatures of legend. The information you provide will be invaluable to studying the possible origin of these creatures and potentially any possible new threats. We'll then compile all of your photos and reports into a top secret video document that we'll issue to each of you upon completion. Stay close to your Pip-Boys, volunteers. Your involvement will go beyond just intel gathering over the next few weeks. Here's what you'll need to do to participate. Read over the event lore and required participation steps. Scroll down to submission boxes and enter your information. Include your system. Gamer tag. Social media, that's optional. Provide the details of your encounters. We then ask you to download at least one, but up to three images. Then hit Submit. Your submission will be investigated by the new responders or members of the Arson Search and Rescue Team. All submissions will be compiled into a top-secret video document for viewing by the Fallout 76 community. The results of our combined investigations will help determine the story direction and events for Chapter 2, coming March 8, 2022. Stay tuned and thank you for serving Appalachia. Make sure you pass this message on to all other Appalachians.